I expect you in my office tomorrow with your work completed, Mr. Wendell. Good day, Mr. Wendell. Yes. Excuse me, Professor Beck. I'm a reporter for the Virtual Herald. You have a few minutes? That's how many I have exactly, a few. What can I do for you? Do you remember a student of yours named Claire Burton? The only student I ever encouraged to leave school. Why do you ask? You advised a student to leave school? Frankly, this place had nothing to offer her. It was my feeling that it could have even restricted her development. But I repeat, why do you ask? Well, she's, um, she's taking care of a friend of mine. And some of her colleagues think that her treatment is a bit unorthodox. <laughs> I have no doubt it is. She wouldn't look at things the way most surgeons do. It's what makes her so creative, so innovative. She seems a bit weird about it. Oh, she's quirky, all right. I certainly remember that about her. Some very unusual predilections indeed, but that's often a mark of genius. Unless Claire has changed drastically in the years since I've seen her, you have no need for concern. Well, thanks. She sounds like she's narrating an audiobook. <laughs> it, it's distinctly possible that's where her experience comes from. Yeah. <laughs> She's <laughs> she like recorded lines for like software like was a man named Joey <laughs> software Falconer. tutorials No, but I remember him well. He was an astonishing cyber surfer. But he was more interested in pretty assistance than in any genuine original thought. Did he have a um affiliation with Claire Burke? By affiliation, I assume you mean did she have an affair with him? I couldn't say. She may well have found his air of danger sexually appealing, and she was certainly aggressive intellectually. <laughs> I'm sure she went after him to challenge his skills, see if she could prove herself superior. Who knows? The Web Runners may even have been her idea. The what? The Web Runners. It was a gaming club of some sort. It was cutting edge. Claire and Falconetti were among the founding members. In fact, when she left school, Claire seemed to do little else. She virtually disappeared. Does this club still exist? I mean, where can I find them? Oh, they're like children with a secret clubhouse. All I know is that they post notice of their meetings on the bulletin board out in the hallway. They usually encode the information, however, hiding it amongst the flyers and announcements posted there. Something about arranging those flyers in the proper order will form a sentence revealing where and when the runners plan to meet. Oh, good. Do you know anything about a policeman named Vince Magnata? Claire used to mention him. Apparently, he had quite a temper. Okay. Apparently, he had quite a temper. This I guess. I guess that's one thing you could say about Magnata. Yeah. Certainly not incorrect. Is that a bulletin board? Yeah. I guess. Oh, it's... Okay. Uh, there it is. Kegger. Girls, boys... Poland, girl... And boys. Okay. I don't understand. I don't understand either. For rent, a former warehouse converted to a loft apartment. Ask for Paco. I will holla record your term papers. Thirty dollars per megabyte. Uh, help to rebuild the Warrens. Had your res <laughs> resume.
<laughs> inconceivable, outrageous, big time, performance, theater. <laughs> These are all things that I associate with gaming conventions. Yeah. Okay. How am I supposed to... Are there any names that are in common between the posters? Jack Webb, Harry Morgan. Paco. Laura White. No. Okay, so... It is five flyers, and how you do it, arrange them correctly, is put them at the bottom of the screen. Okay. there arrange them to form a sentence parentheses sort of that tells where the web writers are meeting okay great the sentence begins with web runners Okay. Well, if I can... John okay. Webb. Go, go back to the last one. Jack, Jack Webb. Webb. Web Runners. Uh... They're one that's like a meat. Uh, let's see. A former warehouse converted into a loft apartment. Right. That seems like it's gonna be the, the last one, or it could um, be. No, I feel like this one is gonna be it because. On Grammar Street Street. Oh, the the white one is the second to last one. Uh-huh. A former warehouse converted to a loft apartment on Regarmo CC. On Cloud Bubba. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um Meeting at the new address at... Maybe? Maybe? It's only five. Okay. Uh... Okay, the order is... Uh... Do you want the order? Because we have all the right ones. Okay. What is it? Web Runners. The new address at a former warehouse converted to a loft apartment on Grand Mercy Street all this month. All this month is the right one that we have. Oh. So I did it. I guess. Good. 
Would they not be... They can't overlap, it says. Okay. There we go. Something is happening. The game's crashing. <laughs> Hold on. Bye. Got it. <laughs> Incredible. It didn't crash. Cool. Maybe now it'll crash. <laughs> yeah. He just had to s get the little blast board in. Oh god. Hey, maybe save. Yeah. A new file. New file. No. Oh. You hurt my soul. Okay. Web Runner's Loft. Code. Code. Do you even code? I don't have a code. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um. Use the numbers at the bottom of the flyers in order. Okay. Well, I can't go back there, apparently. <laughs> because the game has crashed. Oh, good. They're in the same order. Okay. Four, five, zero. Four, two. 86. 86. Well, that's too many numbers for me to remember, so... Don't worry, I can remember the last two. Interrupting something. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I love this Hi. interpretive dance. What you doing? This won't take too long. What? I just ask you a few questions. What? Make an appointment with my secretary. I'm going to tell you what I've been going through lately. Hop along. I've been playing tag with a serial killer and ruining my shine by walking through his victim's guts. My girlfriend's in a coma, and the next time the Ripper kills, it could possibly be yours truly. So fuck your cartoons! Okay. Fine. Now, let's talk. A woman named Claire Burton. Used to be a runner. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. 
I mean, I don't know her. I know who she is or who she was. She was one of the first, a proto-runner. We care about our history, man. You've got to know where you've been to know where you're going. Wow, it's interesting. So, what do you know about her? I just know who she is. I've seen her pictures hanging on the walls in here. You can see them yourself. He looks directly at camera. <laughs> do you know anything about a guy named Falconetti? Every runner's heard of the Falcon. He's a legend on heels. Before he was a runner, he fractured with a gang called Era 33. Falconetti was 33. Was he part of this TRW thing? Story is, he masterminded it. Core overwrite. Took out the credit record of every adult on the East Coast. Cops never got him. They say he's still out there, waiting to strike again. I bet. I, uh, wow. Wow. He got rid of everybody's credit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the Have you hear Vince Magnata? Exact sounds implications familiar. of that, but that sounds based. Well to see if that yeah. means anything. Hmm. How can I access the runner's archive? Which is fucking surprising itself. coming First from Falcon Eddie. You know the address. It's at Anachrony Station. You're on your own with the ice though. It's a bitch. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Well, uh, is there a picture? What the fuck is that? Just them gears on the wall. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. Top three are definitely developers. I I want to know what this thing is. <laughs> it's like a it giant a, claw. It looks like a fucking blur to me. Let's see if I can get a better look at it from this angle. Yeah, it's like a giant fucking claw. Huh. Oh. They just got a big claw. Okay. I mean... I'm gonna go to cyberspace. Stumble drunkenly over to the desk. Oh, I can't even go to the library. That seems important. Let's oh go no, to Spider a spider! World. It's uh, gonna get us! No! Don't hover menacingly! Just like a spider does. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Did we? Did we see, did we see yes. it? Yes. It was okay, in the well, photographs. Do you uh, want the spelling? Yeah. Uh, A N A C H R O N Y station. Seem looks to be two words. A 
Anachrony Station. Oh no, do I have to do a fucking slide puzzle? Yeah! Uh, and it's revealed that it was Spider-Man. No! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. And it's five by five. Alright, see you in six fucking hours. I did it! Please complete another slide puzzle. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Five-year member, gifted cyberspace traveler. Strengths include graphical user interface development in multi-dimensional hyperplanes and first-person post-arcade shooters. Handle: Churchill. Games author: Hostage Golf, Slipstream, and Hip Hop Mafia. Left web runners after marriage to Joey Falconetti ended in divorce 15 years ago, and the latter was sentenced to prison. Burton Falconetti marriage ceremony of note, due to disruption by another web runner, Vincent Magnotta, who claimed to be in love with Burton. Right. So we already knew that. Josie Dorset, three-year member. An extraordinary hacker and decker, but one known not to flaunt her cyberspace talents in a pretentious fashion. Handle, Disraeling, Games Author, Alien Mothers, Virtual Twister, and Beach Party Cryonics. Graduate research thesis on the effects of extended decking brought her national acclaim in the cyberspace community. An enthusiastic gamer, she died under very in mysterious circumstances. Enthusiastic the Josie gamer. Dorset case is still unsolved to date. Josie Dorsey left behind an ex-husband and a teenage daughter. Okay. So that's the sister of Sandra Dorset. Who is... Victor Estevez, five-year member. Oh my god. A skilled programmer, decker, and designer. Best known for his controversial past, followed by his personal religious conversion. Handle, Albert. Games Author. Sim Team Runaway Exploitation. Headhunter. New Testament Interactive Volume 1. Sim Noah and Genesis. The Ultimate God Game. Reputed to be the web runner's programmer extraordinaire. Expert in low-level supercomputer programming. Author of several controversial underground games that continue to draw a large health following. Following a personal religious conversion, Estevez became a senior programmer for Revelation Incorporated, where he is designing and writing a new line of religious interactive adventures. Was that guy a Jim Jones reference? <laughs> Maybe? He looked a lot like Joey him. Falconetti, 
also known as Falcon A. <laughs> Father, an angel Look at this a fucking man, guy. A of yeah. Handle, Beaverbrook. Gaze author. Collateral damage 2020. Humvee. Logic bomb. And dwarf toss. Left runners dwarf toss. years ago when convicted of murder in the first degree. Conviction was overturned two years later when it was discovered that a police officer had falsified evidence leading to the conviction. The police officer suspected but never convicted of mishandling the evidence was Vincent Magnotta, a former web runner. That's surprising. Yeah. Stephanie Jordan, five-year member, decker of modest ability, no significant strengths or specialties. Handle, Victoria, games author, trophy wife, and streptococcus. Most notable for the company she kept. Streptococcus? Lengthy multiplayer game what event. kind of fucking game is that? And Burton. Played no role in the deadly events that tore the formidable trio apart. Left the runners due to unknown circumstances. Okay, so she's not <laughs> important. This character has no bearing upon the plot. Ignore her. Oh Our my god! <laughs> a master of cyberspace whose talents were exceeded only by Joey Falconetti. Handel, Sir Duke, Games oh Over, Designer Gene, Hebrew Vice. Papadelphia and Pistol Party betrayed Runner's credo that information shall be free by joining the data fascists at the Soho precinct of the United Police Forces. Explosive Damn. romance triangle with members Claire Burton Straight and Straight up Joey calling Falconetti the cops fascists. Culminated with Magnata's implicating Falconetti in a murder and the three of them leaving the web runners. <laughs> Sam Mendler, four-year member, a decker of above-average ability. Strength included interface design above average. Handle Balfour, Games Author, Wolf Nader, Horror Busters, and President Satan. Mendler's game President Wolf Satan Nader, national bestseller. Known for his yeah. strong game design skill. Mendler I wanna play a game called President Satan. President Satan. Suddenly a target for an angry public and a hungry international media. Mendler left the web runners and retired from the gaming community. Years later. He opened a successful dry cleaning business in the Bowery. <laughs> Renee Stein, two-year member. No more as a plot writer than a decker. Strength included character development, plot tree branching, and artificial personality construction. Handle, Salisbury. Games author, The Heat of Hate City, and Bloodnet 3000. Talented writer, designer, and game scenario builder. Left the web runners to pursue a career as a hypertext novelist. She authored three acclaimed interactive novels before taking a position at Knopf as a senior editor. Knopf. I don't know why, I just remember him saying Knopf. Uh... This is so obviously oh, like people involved with production. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the eight people. been recording for an hour. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So now what? Do I go talk to everybody again? Um. Oh. Uh, hello. Mr. Quinlan, this is Stephanie Jordan. I was a member of the Web Runners with Claire, Eddie, and Magnata. Professor Beck emailed Oh, she is important. Questions about the Ripper. You know something about it? I'm in terrible danger. Meet me at the Web Runners Loft. Hurry. There's something in cyberspace I want to show you. If I can find it, it will change everything you know about the Ripper. Hurry. Okay. Bad weather closed the skyways. 
forcing me to fight the street level gridlock. It took me over two hours to get there. By the time I arrived at the web runner's loft, I was too late. The Ripper had struck again, Jordan was dead, and Magnata had her body removed. The cops just took the body. God, I was a terrible man. I was all decked in. That's and I was doing the okay crowd. A lot of blood and for one person. And I was shooting the hell out of the Clintons, and I felt all of this bad stuff hit me. And dude, I'm not even thinking about it because I figure it's Doc Holliday blowing Frank McClowry open. McClowry's still alive and shooting Morgan, so I know something's wrong. So I, I, I pause the program and take my goggles off. all cut up with her eyes open and looking at me and fuck I didn't do this shit man I didn't even see anybody leaving I'm gonna be sick man no 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 you take it easy cow girl you take it easy nobody suspects you of anything it's all gonna be over incoming west transmission hooray Quillen I never thought I'd see you miss a story why'd you remove the body from the scene Magnata you know I'm getting tired of answering to you I'm in charge of this investigation. The public has the right to know what happened in there. Not if I don't think so. Maybe I'll leak some information I just found. Interesting stuff. It seems like you were the last person Jordan contacted before she died. Powell, not Jordan. Could really make you wonder. Ah, well, you know, I'm just a protagonist, which means uh, I'm going to get fingered for the crime no matter what yeah um there was a cop here is that object on the ground there new what object oh that yeah yeah I think that's new no I'm going around it Oh, hang on. There's a picture missing. They took one of the pictures down. Is that what was on the floor? No. The walkthrough does not say what to do here, so... Okay, well, I want to talk to these cops. Um... How are you doing, I guess? <laughs> I guess not. Okay... Uh, let's talk to Magnata? No... <laughs> let's talk to Falconetti? Hey, Joey! Joey, I gotta talk to you. Somebody exploded again. Alley Cat Blues!